as a council, we are absolutely telling the government what we think about the risks. But we're being balanced, and that's our role. We need to put forward a view. And, I, and for me, just saying no, it's a view, but it's a very narrow view, and it's a very blunt instrument. I think here we have the ability to tell the government what we think, how we want to protect our environment, though it's not in our coastal marine area. Of course, there could be effects, flow on effects, if something happened. Um, and I, I want to thank um, the Waitakere Rangers local board, and I'm very aware it's one of the local boards that's part of my ward. And we know very well, um, the Deputy Mayor and I, how they feel about the Maui Dolphin and how m most people do, that we want it protected. So I've, we've heard that, and we've also said to them at one of the meetings when we were challenged about it that we think this is the best way to deal with this. Tell the government exactly what we think, all the different points that we want to make. And you can't encapsulate that in a single word, no. You have to spell it out as we have in the submission. And, and really, we do get to, given a lot of things to submit on about all sorts of subjects. We get given a lot of regulation to um, implement from the government. We get a lot of stuff handed down to us, but really don't have a final say in how these things are legislated for. So this is the best response. I also want to respond to um, people saying we don't, you know, we basically not taking heed of the environment. I mean, Councillor Walker knows we've just approved the Growing Greener Plan. We have a response to climate change. We have a response to reducing our emissions as an organisation. And those are the things we really can actually do and have control over. <coughs> so I support the submission. Um, I do think, I ho urge you, um, Councillor Wood and um, Mr Mayor, to um, maybe put something in there about um, that people are concerned around, around, you know, the effect of um, emissions on climate change. Um, so I think we can put that in there if that's what um, the two people charged with signing it, the final sign-off. Maybe that's what we should do. But at the end of the day, I want the ability for us to comprehensively say what we mean when we're talking to the submission. So. Um, that's my that's my say on it, Mr. Chairman. I support the submission that reinforces and any changes that um, you and Councillor Wood might see fit to put in there. Thank you. All right, uh, Councillor Penny Webster. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I won't be supporting the amendment, but I am supporting the substantive motion. The idea that Auckland would not be involved um, is very scary, coming from the Kaipara Harbour. We have to be there so that when, if, and let's face it, this is the third block offer. They haven't found any oil. They haven't even put a drill in the ground yet because it's just too expensive and they haven't found anything and they go through a whole process before they even get to there. Um, and I think we've got to be there because if, you know, it's a big if, anything was found, I want this council to be absolutely up front with what we can do as far as resource management and mitigating circumstances and all that. That's when we actually should really get vocal. And if we don't send a submission or we say we don't want, um, that we're absolutely opposed to any exploration permits, they'll say Auckland isn't interested. And we are very, very interested. So I agree with everything you say. I do get a little bit concerned when we use the Gulf of Mexico as some example of disasters. It was a disaster. But if they ever found oil here, they would have to put down an awfully big pump to get it out of the ground. It's not artesian. So, you know, I think there is, it's used as the dreadful exa example of things going wrong. And it did go wrong, absolutely. But that was because there was a hole and the oil was pouring out of it. It wouldn't be pouring out of it if they found it off the New Zealand coast. <laughs> right. Very good. There Councillor go. George. Well, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, <clears throat> I uh, don't support this um, amendment because I don't believe it's in our interest to um, 
break off our relationship with the government. We've done the best work as a council when we've maintained a strong relationship yeah. with right. central yeah. government. Yeah. That's right. And yeah. I think I can, I can talk about the earthquake-prone buildings where councillor and I and I were involved in that process yeah. with, along with officers of Auckland Council, Mr McCormick uh, and his team, and I think we made huge progress. And we did make huge progress because Nick Smith, the minister on that occasion, changed, the, changed it con uh, considerably. Now, I think, you know, there are reviews coming up um, in relation to preparedness, financial security, which is going to be required um, in the near future. And that's because that's what I've got back on the from the officers. This review of this uh, of the um, of the financial assurance will be publicly consulted on next year. And I think Auckland Council needs to be in a strong position to do that work uh, with the government. And I think, Mr. Mayor, I think we need as a council to actually do do more work than we've done at this stage and get more facts and figures together so we can. Um, so we can really strongly submit on that um, that that review, because uh, I, and I think that's what the rest of the country will expect us to do, because we are a third of New Zealand, and I think uh, we have got the wherewithal and the resources to do the um, <coughs> to do the work, and make sure that uh, before and uh, Council Webster said that there's no exploration occurred a as yet. I think we've got a. You know, there's this window of opportunity to really uh, drive hard with the government to get a, get preparedness up to a higher standard than it is at present. Now, there's there's obviously two organisations. There's Ministry of um, Business, Innovation, and Employment, uh, an offshoot of that organisation, does the licensing, and then um, Maritime New Zealand do the uh, response work. And when it comes up, I think it's a tier three which means that uh, Maritime New Zealand obviously is the lead agency and then Auckland Council comes in behind and we have the onshore and uh, in our territory out in the uh, coastal marine area. Uh, but, but I think preparedness and response is a big factor. And I think when they talk about the RENA, I don't think we got onto the RENA disaster quick enough because it was probably the first we had had of that thing. This obviously would be a far different uh, situation than the arena, but it's one that we must respond to. So, councillors, I don't support this uh, idea that we tell the government we're not involved, we don't want to get involved, we don't think uh, that we are opposed to the allocation of petroleum gas exploration permits in the pro proposed area. I don't think that's going to help us in the long term. I think that we, you know, and we're saying it here today, the Mayor's put, saying it, we will get on and do more work and do better work so that we can dialogue with the government in a stronger in a stronger manner. So, uh, councillors, <coughs> I am ask you to uh, not support this and we'll put the original submission in, and uh, but then we will continue the work from there on. Thank you. Right. Um, now, I've got three, four. Okay, so... Are you still having questions? Oh... We're really in the debate, Councillor. Right. First time really, we've ever I mean, done. We've, we've had, I know, we've had three, three years to to do questions and all that sort of stuff, Councillors. Look, I'm in your hands. If you want to sit here <laughs> and have a really, really long discussion, no, no, I'm in no, your no, hands. No, it shouldn't have been on the agenda item in the first place. So, well, <coughs> Councillor Denise, the that's, that's a moot point. Uh, right, Councillor, so I'm going to, Councillor Cathy, Councillor uh, John, and Councillor Chris. Yeah, I had a question, Mr. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not no. going to take them anymore. Well, no, sorry. It doesn't give us any opportunity, Mr. Mayor, even to have a question. Councillor Wang, if you might. Um, right, uh, Councillor um, Cathy Case. Well, first of all, we're not handcuffed, as the Mayor said. This is the only public say that the people of Auckland have. And they do have concerns about this. Witness the 10,000 people who marched down Queen Street. I don't know if any of you were there. I certainly was. Witness all these good people who've taken time out of their work to be here today to listen to their elected members have a view on this, on their behalf. On their behalf on behalf of the people of Auckland. So I think we should take the opportunity today to make the statement, along with the mitigation measures, 
So it needs a bit of a rewrite, George, but you're well up to that, to make a statement to government that we don't want offshore drilling off our coast in Auckland. This isn't new. Vicky Buck, one of the reasons I wanted to see a letter that she said she wrote is that they've already said that. We're not the first. Kaikoura was the second. We're not the first, we're not the second, we're actually the third, but we're the biggest council in Auckland. And I want to return to our Bible. I, I have this with me all the time, it's actually in my car. I've just reread chapter seven on the environment. If you do not oppose drilling off our shores, you are not living up to this document. There's 27 pages on the environment. There's even a chapter that's headed up Treasure our coastline, harbours, islands, and marine areas. There's umpteen paragraphs I've marked off where it says, make sure that development is not in any of our areas of high ecological significance. <clears throat> You've heard what the boards have had to say. You've heard what Steve has to say. There's pictures, pictures for Africa of our west coast. Maui's dolphin, the fairy tale, our high recreational values, why did we do this? Why did we do this? We did this because we do really value that area. And if we do really value that area, why would we put it at risk? And that's what Christchurch said. It's too risky, councillors. So I'm going to turn to one oil spill that we know about. And that was the Rena. It's been mentioned a few <coughs> times already. 3,500 tonnes, tonnes of oil, 22,000 birds dead with oil, a community broken. <coughs> I'll read you the victim impact statement from local Maori. Just let me find it. <coughs> well, I'll come back to it. Here we go. This was read out in court when the firm was fined $300,000. On top of the $235 million they had to spend cleaning up the mess, on top of the 46 million, sorry, it was a wee bit bigger than you said, $46 million spent by the taxpayers of New Zealand, cleaning up the oil. This is what local Maori had to say. Rena left people shocked and saddened. Our environment is deeply entrenched in who we are. This is our area. It is not as if we have anywhere else to go. We are members of the Tangata Whenua community. We have, through our whakapapa, an undying and unique relationship with our Moana. Do we care? Do we care what Maori think? They're not at the table today, but they were at the last vote. We've heard about the species. We've heard about Maui's dolphins. Today, in the media, a new program to try and preserve our threatened species. That's in here too. We've got a target not to make sure, to make sure we don't lose any more spe species. 4,000, they said today, were at risk. Top of the list, Maui's dolphin. How many, 46? Between 46 and 55? What are we doing? What are we doing? Who speaks for the dolphin? Who speaks for the dolphin? We've got great words in here about Maui's dolphin. We don't follow that up with actions because if we did, every single one of you today would be opposing this and giving a strong message to government and putting the mitigation measures in place. Speak for the dolphin today. The last thing, we've mentioned, people have mentioned our clean green image, our 100% pure, and any oil spill or any threat to our coastline dents that majorly. Mm. But I want to ask you something. I started this term of council, I started this term of council singing a song, what's in it for me? And you know, I haven't, I haven't heard from anybody. In this submission, it says there are potential economic ben benefits for Auckland. I heard a few councillors say, oh yeah, yeah, we, we have to be in there for that. What, in it for what? What, tell me, what's the economic benefits to our ratepayers? I know what the environmental consequences are. I have no evidence whatsoever of any economic benefits. And we're supposed to make judgments based on evidence. Well, I've been listening to the scientists and I've been listening to the submitters today. I'm very clear. 
I'm with Vicky Buck and Christchurch City Council. I'm with Kaikoura Council. We don't put our coastline at risk in this way and we have a chance to send a strong message to government. We do it today. So I'd really like this to be unanimous. All we're <laughs> doing is happen. stating what we don't want. We don't want an oil <coughs> spill off our coast. Mm -hmm. We'll betide you if you vote against it and it happens. Yes,